So you wanna save rolls of money? Clean and roll. Be green, save green. The fast and easy way to clean your paint roller is clean and roll. This is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Home Improvement How To's. Today we're gonna to be testing out a new product that we've never tested before. Uh, it's a paint company called Rada Paints and they're kind of like um, not a national company but we're here in Boise, Idaho and they're a regional paint, paint company even in Canada I think. I mean you know what yeah. states they're in? Yeah, I, I, well I don't know this for sure which states. I know the western region is where they're more predominant and then I believe in Canada they're known as Cloverdale Paint. Cloverdale paint. So we're testing out a product called Cover Coat from them and we went in and asked for their best paint and this was the product that they gave my wife. She said we wanted to test out the best so and we wanted a flat paint so they sent us or sent out flat paint a gloss level one Cover Coat premium classic exterior paint. So we're gonna be testing it out. We're gonna let you know what we think of it so far. Um, just a little bit of the reading we've done about it um, is we can't really determine what the warranty is. We believe it's a one year warranty, right? Yeah, so when I look online at their data sheets, which are a little difficult to find, I'll admit, it, it reads like there's just a one year warranty. Although there may be some confusion that maybe it's a lifetime warranty now, but it was a one year. Either way, that seems like a pretty big product change all of a sudden to go from one year to a lifetime warranty, but who knows? We looked at some of the application um, specifications. It seems like you apply it thinner than most of the products that we um, use. Yeah, too. yeah. so it calls for uh, a minimum of four mil thickness all the way up to six mils. Uh, it looks like there's, uh, there's not a ton of solid content in the paint, so we'll see how that ends up working out and how it dries out. I think it's pretty slow drying is my guess uh, of what we'll find. Um, but yeah, it's um, uh, four to six mils, and, and we're pretty typically going to be applying um, at that six mil range with the products that we're used to using. Yeah, we're gonna be spraying it too. We, we're gonna be spraying, it's gonna be going on some composite shakes up here, not real wood shakes, mm -hmm. composite shakes that are already painted, so it should be covered one coat. It's the exact same color. We're gonna be spraying it out of a Titan 440 sprayer, um, probably at around 20, 2200 PSI. And the product, when we open it up, it's really thick. I think it's got really the consistency thick, yeah. of like peel bond. You touch it and... Yeah, it's, it's really thick, but it also feels kind of... Mm, don't take this weird. It feels fluffy to me. Like it feels like it's really airy inside yeah. that paint that I'm feeling. Yeah. So um, we're going to be testing it out here. So we'll show you spraying it and we'll let you know what we think of it at the end. So stay tuned for this video. The rest of the video. The rest of it. All the video. All of it. So we're getting this thing all loaded up here. We're going to be using a, um, we've got a five, I think that's a 515. A 515 Rack X 515 tip with a the Rack X guard. Um, you, I think you got what side, that's not a 30 inch. No, I it's think. a 20, 24 inch extension. 24 inch extension. We got our contractor two gun we like on there. Um, our favorite gun. So we're setting this thing up, getting ready to go. And we're going to be just spraying these shakes. There might be a little bit of back brushing we have to do on it when you get up there. Is there any blistering? We're going to be back brushing it but here we go we're gonna be testing this stuff out and see how it sprays so um, here we go So I'm spraying it on right here, and um, you know the sun's hitting this side. I don't know today it's probably about 75 degrees outside right now, and this stuff is dry and it's drying really fast on this side. Over on the other side, it's um, it's cool and it's not drying nearly as fast. But it's uh, so far it's like really thin. Um, I haven't seen. You know, I haven't put it on super heavy, not concerned about runs and the heat like this, but on the other side, put it on heavy, I'll see what it's like. But um, it's, um, it's interesting just how thin the, the product is. It, it's, it's really because in the, the can itself, when you touch it with your finger, it's really thick like peel bond. It sprays really quiet. Um, 
Does it make a lot of noise? I don't see, do you see a lot of overspray dust at all, John, in the air coming no. off? No. I mean, I don't feel any like any droplets, anything kicking back or anything. Um, so it feels like it's pretty clean, uh, but you know, so far we'll just keep testing on the spray some more and we'll see how it goes. So we're all done spraying our uh, Rada, what's it called? Cover coat. Cover coat. Cover coat. Initial reaction when I opened it up, it's um, very thick. If you don't subscribe to us, we're on Instagram and Facebook. Um, Facebook and Instagram is growing a lot. We throw out one minute and 30 second clips all the time on Instagram, Facebook, follow us. Instagram is Idaho Painters um, or Idaho Painter and um, Facebook is The Idaho Painter. So go check us out there. We're always doing live shows too out here on the field and giving away products and stuff. And um, it's kind of cool. So check us out there. Um, so the product here, uh, Truco, we both sprayed it and we back brushed it on the shakes up here. And um, like I say, it, it started off extremely thick. When I sprayed it, it went on thin. I was very surprised it went on thin and then it had a tendency to, um, I don't know, kick or splatter a lot while spraying it. So mm -hmm. I mean, what, what, what are your reactions with it, John? Um, it did seem really thin. It, it seemed like yeah. it built up, like it wasn't going to run. So like it built up and it stuck to itself and you'd be, you'd have probably like a holiday, not really a run if you put it on too thick. Um, but then it, it also, like it doesn't stay together very well. So then if you go back over that section or you start brushing it, it starts flicking paint away or the impact of the paint from the sprayer, um, it, almost like backsplashes back off of it. And yeah. I know Chris took a little bit of video of some of the um, the paper and you could see some of the splatters coming back across it. Really weird. Yeah, when, when I was when I was back brushing it, uh, the paper down below, we had nine inch paper and that's all we typically run on the roofs. We never get paint on the roofs. It's, it's plenty. If I was using this product, I would definitely have to run two rows of paper. Mm -hmm. I was back brushing it and it would just flick little paints off and then even when we were spraying it, when we were looking at the paper, there was little droplets all over the paper, even to the edge of the paper, and then some on the roof. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah, but really weird droplets too. Like when we're back brushing, like it would flick paint off of the brush, but it wouldn't be like we are used to where the, the drip just comes down. It's the, the drip was like light enough that if there was a breeze, it was floating away and like it would be like actually picked up by the wind. So maybe again, it was injected with helium or magic. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. But it, I, I did notice, you know, if you put a little bit on your fingers, rubbed around into a really thin film, it covered really, really well. Mm -hmm. I was impressed with the coverage. Even yeah. though we were painting up there the same color, you couldn't tell, you know, um, the coverage there, but putting it on your hand, uh, I did like the coverage. It had an interesting smell, and so you looked up and you saw that it had a warning on it. Yeah, so it, I. It's the first time I've ever seen a warning where it warns of ethylene glycol and, and it being bad for your kidneys, um, which I know, you know, glycol based uh, colorants are in the majority of paints and the majority of products that we use. And I, I want to say um, extender is uh, propylene glycol. Uh -huh. and, and so, you know, it, it just kind of an odd smell coming off of the paint, um, not one that we were totally used to, and, and that may play into how come it was so light and, and how it, it uh, dried so quickly. But. Yep. And I think if you drink a lot of alcohol, this is probably a paint you might want to stay away from, you know, because drinking and kidneys and this you know, paint yeah, and just, Your risk kidneys. factor goes way up. <laughs> But you should always wear respirators. It shouldn't even matter anyways. <laughs> if you notice, we wear respirators. But um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, overall, um, you know, the product itself, this was a flat product. Um, the performance, um, I don't know, we, we were brushing it. it. The drying time on it, it um, the dry time, I, I sprayed it in the sun on one side and we sprayed it on the shade the other side. And I think it's not a fast drying paint, I wouldn't say. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I didn't, I didn't see any runs. I wasn't concerned about runs anywhere. Um, but I mean, my big, big concern with it is that splattering. When I did, um, when John was spraying and it was coming off the soffits, I did notice, I think it had 
more of like oversprayed dust that was carrying in the air. I would see a big cloud of dust, you know, in, um, over John, which you can't see in the camera. But to me, so um, that's kind of like silica dust, or I'm not sure what kind of you know, dust the filler would be in there on the product and stuff that would, um, but it just, compared to other paints that we use, just a little more dust in the air. That's not paint that's gonna land on something and stick, it's just dry dust. Yeah, and, and you know, we, we're only working with a little bit of it, so you know, with some more time and working with a little more, you probably could dial in your pressure and your tip and everything so that that's less of a factor, but um, for, us and what we were using it and, and how quickly we were using it, it, it still seemed to be a pretty decent factor. Yeah, just to, I mean, to be fair, it is only one gallon and it's flat. Most of the paints we use, 90% of them are satins. And satins, um, just because there's more acrylic in the paint, has a tendency to not have as much overspray, has a tendency to hit and stick better. And um, not. I, I notice even like when we're using um, solid color stains and stuff, they'll splatter a little bit more. This was kind of a little bit different, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just going to take a little more time. It would t I think it's gonna, it would take you know, a little bit more learning curve than with some paints. And I think you'd uh, definitely need to use drop cloths, more drop cloths and more paper using the paint. So we got some closing thoughts on our, the rotted cover coat right here that we've been testing all day. The house is almost done. And I, and I was doing some touch-ups up there. And one of the things I noticed doing the touch-ups, the very first time I went to approach the um, shakes, it was weird. The paint just kind of just splattered off the brush. And it happened to me twice. The two times I reached up to start to touch up, it was really weird. And then I was kind of daubing in the corners and it was flicking off the paint. It was literally like jumping off the paint. I don't know, off the paint brush. It's kind of weird. Um, and I know you experienced that when you were back brushing up there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, it feels like it's it's really loose. It feels like it's um, really light. Like it, the, the, there's not enough heaviness or not uh, solids or body in the paint to help it stay together. Yeah, I kind of like describe it like it's like airy, like it's something whipped. Like yeah. I don't know, something. Yeah, whipped, we but, were joking at first. Like yeah. it's almost like a cake filling or something. Yeah. Like it just has this weird soft kind of feel to it. Yeah. And then we noticed one thing. We're looking up at the shakes that we did the shakes up here. John sprayed the shakes and back brushed them, and I noticed. I noticed you can see a sheen difference everywhere you back brush. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what causes that. And um, you know, it, it, that can be an issue. Yeah. So yeah. a li little concerning. A little concerning. You know, with the, the paint dripping off the brush really easily. I know anytime you would do touch ups with it or brush and roll it, you're gonna have to have a drop cloth. You're gonna have to have masking because you, you're gonna make literally make a mask. Yeah. We had joked about how like we could totally understand that if this is a product that you use, why you would harp on us for never having enough drop cloths down or always going to have spits or yeah. or overspray or things like that you, you know this is just it's it's kind of a difficult product to, to work with and i guess there's probably quite a learning curve to get and you did learn uh, we did learn uh john found out it has a lifetime warranty and the price yeah yeah so it does have a lifetime warranty is what they told us and uh, rada considers this the equivalent with something like sherwin williams super paint uh, the the retail, like we said, was fifty dollars and fifty cents. But it sounds like a contractor price is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of the um, mid to low thirties, maybe high twenties, if they really like you. Yep. So um, there you go. There's some final thoughts on it. I know there is going to be a learning curve to it. So we did. Oh, we only used one gallon today. So we are going to give their upper it their top of the line products. We were told this was the top of the line, but apparently they didn't sell us the top of the line. So we're gonna try the top of the line stuff. Give that a try and um, you know maybe try this you know some more and maybe the learning curve, we can figure it out. But um, there we go. If you guys have any thoughts, ideas, if you've experienced some of the same things, do let us know because we'd love to hear if this is just us and we're crazy, which could be the case. Yeah, sometimes we are crazy, but. <laughs> or if, uh, if this is something everyone else has experienced too. Yep, see ya. Cool. Perfect.